Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and this is Women Blazing Trails. I want to talk about something a little uh, serious today. I just wrote an article recently about the rise of depression in older adults and I'm talking um, over 50. Okay, so before I go on, I just have to say it's been really really loud at my apartment lately so i came down to the lake i thought i would try and do a video down at the lake i thought it would be a little bit quieter and while it is significant hola and while it is significantly quieter down here there's still going to be scooters and motorcycles driving by so please uh forgive the noise it definitely is quieter than my apartment that's for sure so anyway carrying on so i wrote an article recently um and uh, it's actually gaining some popularity of, with older adults. And um, going back when I say older, I mean over 50, over 60, over 70, men and women, because what's happening in today's world is that there's so much pressure to be beautiful and maintain youth, and there's so much, you know, um, and I'm not judging or shitting on anybody, so I just want to say that right now. You know, so women and men getting Botox and getting plastic surgery, trying to, you know, women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, trying to be, you know, maintain that youth. And, and that's all cool. If, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm certainly not judging anybody who does that. Um, but what's happening is that people, uh, older adults, are becoming depressed and there is an increase in suicides in um, older adults and this is something that we need to take seriously and I think this is something that needs to, we need to raise more awareness about it and give people tools, which is why, which is what I'm doing now, give people tools to help them um, combat depression or to uh, uh, not not so much keep it under control but try to avoid it combat it try to avoid it and try to find other things in your life um, that can bring you joy and that can help you forget about you know I'm getting older I'm getting depressed so aging is inevitable and I'm now uh, I'll be 62 this year actually which still to this day kind of freaks me out and I'm not gonna lie I've had my bouts of depression where I look in the mirror sometimes and I you know who am I I'm not that vibrant 25 30 40 year old young woman anymore I sometimes I feel old part of the motorcycles will stop right second I feel old sometimes, I feel depressed sometimes, sometimes it makes me sad that I am getting older, um, but when I do find myself falling into that trap of, oh my god, Eva, you know, you're so old, you're not fresh and young and beautiful anymore, or whatever, uh, whatever kind of negative thoughts that I go through, I have to counter those. Uh, negative thoughts and try so what I do sometimes but mostly that works for me is when I do have those moments of oh my god look at me I'm six I'm gonna be 62 I have wrinkles I have gray hair in places that shouldn't have gray hair uh, I'm alone my body is aging I have a crepey skin neck I'm you know my boobs are sagging all those things right so I will just take a second and just look in the mirror and go, you know what, you are beautiful. Like you're an amazing person. You do so much good. You help people. You have, you know, you're, you're in excellent health. So I have to use a lot of positive self-talk to get me out of that, oh my God, I'm depressed and I'm getting old and this sucks. So it so I'm not immune to this, you know, feeling depressed about aging. It it hits me too. Um, so I just want to share right now, I, just, I do want to share a few tips that I feel might help you uh, in the long run um, to help when you are having those bouts of depression. The tip that I just shared with you, what I do, that's a really, really powerful move. You should try that. It does really, really work. Um, so before I do carry on, I just want to say I'm not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare professional, I'm not a mental health specialist, I'm not any of that. I'm just simply a woman over 60 who tries things to help me 
when I'm feeling depressed um, and they work. So I'm just sharing what I know and the information that I know because I've been doing a lot of research. Google is my best friend. <laughs> a lot of research on uh, aging and depression in older adults. So I, the very first thing I want to say share before the positive self-talk which really does work I do really want you to try it another thing that I want to share with you is your diet and I you know they say that you are what you eat and that is so true and especially as we get older it's even more so true um, is that a thing more so true it's even more true it's it's even truer I don't know um, so if you're just feeding your body and and your diet before we go any further your diet our diets are linked to mental health issues inflammation in your body um, rapid aging it wrinkles um, cognitive decline your diet is the is the is the is that what I'm, I can't even think of the word um, your diet plays a huge role in your physical and your mental health so watch what you're taking in and like I said I'm not a healthcare professional so I want you to google this um, and I can drop some links down below in the description box but I want you to google um, some you know different diets that are not even so much diets because I really hate the word diet it's not about diets it's about changing the way you eat and changing what you eat so sugar is the devil you know processed foods boxed foods are, are garbage uh, junk food while it's delicious and yummy and drool worthy is also garbage I mean we need to be eating we need to be feeding our bodies wholesome healthy nutritional food you know fresh fruits and vegetables lean proteins drinking lots of water staying away from sugar and a lot of people say oh you know I get my vitamin C in a juice you know I drink lots of orange juice well that's great but the orange juice also has a shit ton of sugar so find other ways to get your vitamin C and don't drink a, a gallon of orange juice so when you change your diet when you do when you change your diet you're gonna start noticing shifts in your physical health and your mental health I can almost guarantee that I can almost promise you that 100% I want you to start googling look into different foods that you know anti uh, anti-inflammatory foods anti-aging foods foods for brain health foods for aging foods for glowing skin all that stuff because you are what you eat so if you're eating garbage and junk it's gonna show up in your body your body's gonna get fat you're gonna get zits you're gonna have wrinkles you're gonna feel lethargic you're not gonna have energy um, so that's really really important uh, another thing that I want to bring up is your um, friendships and not so much your friendships or who you're hanging around with but are you maintaining friendships are you reaching out to people and asking friend hey do you want to go for a coffee or are you just sitting home alone feeling sorry for yourself and watching you know binging Netflix the Walking Dead or whatever and just feeling sorry for yourself pick up the phone and call an old friend and yes people do still pick up the phone and call people we still do that text somebody let people know how you're feeling so we aren't mind readers so if you're feeling depressed or sad or lonely nobody's gonna know that unless you tell them and people love to help they really really do you can email a friend you can call a friend you can text a friend you can just reach out to somebody and say hey you know it's Eva how are you doing I really need somebody to talk to right now and I'm almost I'll almost guarantee that first of all that friend's gonna be really happy that you reached out and called but that friend is probably lonely too sitting on her couch or his couch watching Netflix and feeling sorry for himself and being being lonely and feeling depressed so reach out to reach out to friends call somebody let somebody let somebody know how you're feeling let because people don't know unless you tell them so let your friends or family know how you're feeling and they can help you, they, they can talk to you, they can come up for a coffee, you can go, maybe the two of you can go up for a coffee or go for a walk or anything like that. So you have to reach out and let people know 
that you are depressed, you are sad, you are lonely, you are whatever, um, because people want to help. People don't want you to be sad, lonely, and depressed. The people don't want to know that you're sitting at home feeling sad and depressed, and they didn't, they couldn't help you because you didn't reach out and you didn't tell them. You got to tell people. Another tip that I want to share with you is, and I this is a really good one actually, is try to go out and meet like-minded people. So what I mean by that is if you like art or if you like uh, volunteering at a dog shelter or if you like gardening or what, maybe you live in an apartment and you can't garden, there's community gardens everywhere. So go on, Facebook is a gold mine of great informative hi go have a dog visiting me a uh, uh, great informative or great groups that you can find like-minded people to help you um to connect with you can join painting groups you can join you know just there would be groups of you know people over 60 who just get together and go down to the lo local coffee shop and shoot the shit for an hour or whatever there's groups out there like that on facebook and if you're not a facebook person and you don't do facebook or social media you can go down to your church or your local library or you can go to a coffee shop or you can just ask even if you go to a coffee shop just ask if you see a senior sitting by themselves or something and ask hey is there a group find groups find um, community events that you can join and make friends and be part of the community and maybe even start doing some of the things that you really really love to do that you haven't done in a really long time because you've been sitting at home alone by your, you know for so long so go and find groups they are out there and I know I understand it's hard to get out of your comfort zone some of us are introverts I mean I kind of, so I'm kind of like an introvert extrovert but I'm never sure which I am on any given day um, so it's hard for me to go out and make new friends I really I am shy and people laugh at me when I say that but I am kind of shy but then I have my moments where I can just walk into a room and go hey my name is Eva and let's all chat and be friends so I understand that it can be difficult but the alternative so here so let me put it to you like this you can sit at home alone and feel sorry for yourself, which is shitty, which is going to lead to depression. It's going to lead to depression. It's going to lead to comfort food eating. It's going to lead to mental and physical health decline. It's going to lead to weight gain. It's just going to lead to a whole gamut of health issues. So you can sit by yourself at home and feel sorry for yourself, or you can just step out of just once just step out and I know it's hard to do just step out go to the library or the church or wherever find a group and just go there and people people are so friendly and I find that especially people over 60 and over over 50 and over 60 are even more friendly because they know what you're going through and they just they're just very welcoming so those are a few tips that I just wanted to share with you because this is a serious topic that needs to, we need to bring more awareness to it. And you don't need to be sitting home alone um, feeling sorry for yourself. And I'm guilty. I've done it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, no, don't do that. That's bad. I have done it. And I know what it feels like. But you don't need to do that. There are ways and uh, methods that you can use or try. Uh, where you can go and meet people, where you can go embrace the last half of your life and go start doing more things to bring you joy. And then at the end of the day, you're just going to feel so much better. And then you're going to look forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know, maybe you met a new friend at the community event that you went to or the local cafe. So now you have a new friend and then, you know, her, him or her, they have friends and you'll meet their friends. So it's, it's just going to be a domino effect. And it, honestly, it's a win-win for everybody. You make a new friend, they make a new friend, and then you just have new friends. So don't be home alone um, feeling sorry for yourself. Find ways to interact with other people. Talk to people. Call a friend. Change your diet, honestly. I swear to God, change your diet. When I did that, and I've been eating a lot healthier lately more so in the last six months than I have um now nah, I yeah I, I go off and on actually to be honest but I'm eating a lot more healthier now in the last six months no sugar um I'm 
pretty much, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm 100% keto, but I'm pretty close to being full-blown keto now. Um, so your diet, and I'm going to, I'm going to drop a bunch of links down below because I do also own a keto site where I share really yummy recipes um, and keto tips. I want to share a link to that article about the depression in old and older adults being on the rise. I really just don't want you to be sad and lonely and sitting on your couch feeling sorry for yourself. I want you to have joy in your life. If you're over 50 or 60, these are the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years of your life. This is it. These are the, these are the last years of your life. So they don't have to be spent feeling sorry for yourself, for, feeling sorry for yourself on the couch alone. You can make these last years of your life the best years of your life. You really can. So that's all I got for you. I hope that you got a lot from this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share. Please share this video if you know somebody who is over 50 or 60 and feeling sad and lonely. Please share, um, like, and subscribe. And I'm uh, sorry about all the noise. <laughs> I tried to find a quiet spot, but that's just not possible where I live. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you all again really soon. That's all I got for now. Take care for now. Bye.